started off as an engineer in undergrad, but I parlayed that love of technology into the medical field where I decided to go into ophthalmology. After my training, I did a one-year fellowship in cornea because I really liked the front part of the eye. Now, I often get asked by my patients, why did you decide to go into ophthalmology? Well, that is an interesting story. It all started off when I was young. I remember it like it was yesterday. Hi, Deepa. Hi. How's your vision doing? It's fine. Good. Well, I was taking a look at your eyes, and I noticed that they're special. They have two different colors. And I want to know if I can take a picture of them to kind of watch it over time. Is that okay? Okay. I have what you would call heterochromia, or a difference in color between the two irises. My right eye is three quarters black and a quarter brown. My left eye is completely brown. Now you won't be able to see it from far away, but when you look under a microscope, as my ophthalmologist did, you can definitely appreciate it. Now what it is is actually a nevus or freckle on my iris, and it's benign, but much like a freckle on the skin, it can transform into something more malignant, a melanoma, which obviously is not a good thing to have in the eye. Uh, so they monitored it annually with exams and photos, and well, I never really understood the ramifications of this as a child. I could definitely sense the anxiety in my parents' faces, and it really made me dread wanting to go to the ophthalmologist every year. Additionally, I was nearsighted, and my vision was getting worse every year. I was afraid I was actually going to eventually go blind. So I dreaded going to the ophthalmologist every year, much like most kids would dread going to the dentist. Now, over time, I had other experiences with ophthalmology, both good and bad. Uh, in my mid-twenties, I was uh, able to get LASIK done, and it was wonderful being rid of glasses and contact lenses and really being able to appreciate you know, all the beauty and splendor that the world had to offer. Uh, on the converse end of things, I did uh, eventually get one time a pink bad case of pink eye or viral conjunctivitis in both eyes, but primarily in my right one, where I developed these little white spots in the cornea, made me extremely light sensitive, my vision went down, I had to wear a hard contact lens for a month or two in order to see my sharpest due to uh, the abnormal shape of my cornea, and I wasn't able to operate for an entire month, and to be frank with you, I wasn't sure if I would ever be able to operate again. It was really a frightening moment for me, and it really brought to light what patients feel like when they are sitting in that exam chair. Uh, and I think it made me a better physician. Uh, I understood afterwards the empathy that was necessary when treating patients, to treat them as if they were your own parent, uh, for instance, and to give them the best care that you could, and just to be understanding of the anxiety that they may be experiencing. Since I finished my training 12 years ago, I've trained other residents and I've performed thousands of cataract and corneal surgeries. The field of ophthalmology is ever-changing, and as it's evolved, I've evolved as well. I've changed the way I practice and operate, and I've tried to add a new skill or two every year that I've been in practice so that I can offer my patients the best, highest quality of care that they've come to expect. Uh, I still marvel to this day when they rejoice in how much their vision has improved uh, after surgery. It never gets old, because as they say, seeing is believing.